A wet mystery. Mother and father living in the north of Canada went shopping, leaving their teenage son home. He said he wanted to mount his new TV on the wall. They were halfway to the mall when mother remembered she'd left the iron plugged in. They returned and found the house freezing cold. Mother turned on central heating again, and they left for good. When they came back after a while, there was water dripping from the ceiling on the first floor, and on the second, their son was lying unconscious in a pool of water on the floor, and the TV was hanging on the wall askew. Can you guess what happened? The young man hauled a big chunk of ice upstairs to stand on it while he mounted the TV. He turned off the heat for the ice to stay frozen, but when his mom turned it on again, the chunk melted and the boy slipped and fell. A code number A detective who had been mere days away from cracking an international criminal gang has suddenly gone missing. But he was smart enough to try and help the investigators in their search by leaving one clue. More specifically, a special code. 710-57735-34-5508-517718. The police have three prime suspects, John, Bill, and Adam. Can you break the detective's code and help the police arrest the right criminal? The numbers in the detective's code represent letters. If you read the message upside down, you'll notice that it says, Bill is boss. He sells oil. So, Bill's your guy. Cuffin' boys. A lousy alibi. A man had been strolling through the park when someone suddenly hit him on the back of the head. Witnesses say the culprit had brown hair, blue eyes, and was wearing a baggy suit. The main suspect is Sean Baker, who matches the description perfectly. The police interrogate Sean, who gives his account of what happened. I was just hanging out in the park, and I saw this man walking along the pathway. Then some other guy suddenly sprang out of the shrubs right in front of him and hit him. I ran home as fast as I could. The police ask him to give a description of the attacker. He answers, he had a red mustache, red hair, and a baggy suit on. However, one of the investigators says Sean is lying. How does he know? Sean claims that the attacker came up in front of the man, but that's complete nonsense. The man had been hit on the back of his head. Strange noises. Amy and Carl were lying in bed at night when they heard weird noises from their daughter Stacy's bedroom. Amy went to see and carefully opened the door, but saw her teenage daughter fast asleep and the noise stopped. The next night, it all happened again, and in the morning, Amy found a snakeskin lying under Emily's bed. Alarmed, the family searched the whole house but couldn't find the snake that left it. Still, the sound persisted every night. Can you guess where the snake was hiding? It was in the walls. At night, when it was quiet, the snake would crawl out in the open. But when everyone woke up again, it hid inside the pipes and between the boards. A careless granddaughter Sally went to the drugstore to get some meds for her grandma. The pharmacist looked at the prescription and handed her four identical pills, two for pressure and another two for her legs. He warned Sally that grandma should take one of each kind a few hours before bedtime. The girl nodded and dropped the pills into her bag. As she got home, Sally realized what she did wrong. There were four completely identical pills in her bag, all mixed up. But when it was time for Grandma to take the pills, Sally figured a way out. What did she do? The 
the only way out of this situation is to split all the pills in half and take one half of each pill. This way, grandma will definitely get the right meds. The chicken matter. Sally's grandma, yep, that same one, got three hens that gave her three eggs in three days. When Sally found this out, she decided selling eggs could be a good business. So she got her grandma 12 more hens of the same kind. Sally can't wait to get her profit. Who wouldn't be? But she's not that great at math. Can you help her figure out how many eggs grandma will get in the next 15 days? Three hens brought grandma three eggs in three days. It means one hen brings one egg once in three days. So it'll give five eggs in 15 days. Now that we've got 15 hens, we can easily multiply the numbers and get 75 eggs in 15 days. A window to freedom. Jack is thrown in a cell with a dirt floor and only one window positioned so high no one could reach it. The cell is empty except for a shovel. It's dry and hot in there, but Jack won't get any food or drink anytime soon. He has only two days to break out of his cell. Digging a tunnel would take at least a week. How should Jack escape? He should use the shovel to make a pile of dirt under the window, climb on it, and escape from the cell. Seriously, who secures prisoners this way? Back to school On the first day of the school year, a geography teacher vanished. The police had as many as four suspects. They were the gardener, the math teacher, the coach, and the school principal. The sticking point was that they all had alibis. The gardener was cutting bushes. The math teacher was holding a mid-year test. The coach was playing basketball. The principal was in the office with parents of one of the students. Despite this, the culprit was arrested immediately. Can you guess how the police solved the mystery? The math teacher was lying. According to his words, he was holding a mid-year test, but the geography teacher disappeared on the first day of the school year. Late Delivery A lonely old man lived in his house in the suburbs of a city. He led a quiet life and never left his dwelling for long. It was a midsummer Friday when the mail carrier walked by and called out for the man. There was no answer coming from inside the house. The carrier looked into the window and, oh no! He saw the house was a total mess, and the owner was nowhere to be seen. When the police arrived, they found a Tuesday's newspaper, two bottles of warm milk, and one bottle of cold milk. The next day, the robber was arrested. How did the police find out who it was so quickly? It was obviously the mail carrier. He knew that no one in that house would read a newspaper on Wednesday or Thursday. That's why he only came on Friday. There's chemistry between them. A famous chemist went missing. There was no evidence found except for a piece of paper with the names of chemical substances on it. On the day he disappeared, the chemist had only three visitors, his wife, Mary, his nephew, Nicholas, and his friend, Jonathan. The police looked at the note and arrested the culprit right away. Who was it, and how did they find it out? It was Nicholas, the chemist's nephew. If you combine the short names of the chemical substances on the paper, you'll get his name. N-I-C-O-L-A-S An untouchable car A man was found unconscious in his own car. 
The police found a rock near the man, and it was obvious he had been hit on the head with it. But the car windows were intact, and the door was locked. How could someone throw a rock into the car without damaging it? The car was a convertible, and when the rock was thrown, the roof had been down. A public collapse One city was having a rough patch. Its schools, hotels, and public transport weren't functioning because of a strike that had already lasted for several weeks. One night, someone hit the mayor of the city over the head. The man was rushed to a hospital, and the police arrested three suspects. Brandon stated that he had been walking along the street when he heard someone scream, but it was too dark and he couldn't see anything. John confirmed that he had heard a call for help as well, but he was too scared to check it out. As for Dylan, he claimed that he had been waiting for a bus at a bus stop and hadn't heard anything. Who attacked the mayor? It was Dylan. He couldn't be waiting for a bus since they hadn't been running for several weeks because of the strike. 